Hello there, I'm Afia and I'm back with some more computer crafts. Today I'll be making a new game. I'll be making a Pong. Now, what I did is that I have a file called GameStruct and this is basically a file containing the main structure that a game must have, usually. And I copied it, copied it into Pong, which will be the new game. So, let's edit Pong and have a look. Now there's a space where you can declare all the variables. I have a function init for initialization, display to display what I want on the screen, update to update the current situation, and end game when the game ends. Uh, and there's a main game loop, so that's cool. Now then, what should we do now? Let's um, what should yes, let's at least initialize the whole thing. Now, what we want to do is that we want the um, both rackets to be positioned at the um, at the middle. So let's actually declare a few, few variables, like um, I don't know how about racket length, racket length, and it will be set to um, I don't know. I uh, can only imagine, uh, let's have a well shot, let's do say 7. And what we want to do is it will put the... Um, yes, we will put them in the middle, so let's declare actually two new variables. Local screen height and also new screen right actually. There we go. Equal term dot get size. Term dot get size, and this will get the dimensions of the screen. Can always be useful. There we have it. And we will need a few more variables, like local player one y. I suppose that would be okay. That would be the um, height of a of a player. And uh, we will have PL2Y. Those will be two variables which will be initialized in here. So, first thing we want to do is PL1Y to be set to about half. And um, what I'm going to do is that the, um, the racket will start displaying at the top of racket, so um, actually the Y coordinate will be the top of racket, you'll see later on. Anyway, so we want it to be at the center, so it will be screen H plus P, wait no, plus racket len. Let's see if, let's see if we can write this correctly, racket len. And all that's divided by 2. There we go. And we'll have uh, PL2, which will take the same value. So PL2Y will be actually equal to PL1Y. And that being done, um, we also, yeah, we also need actually the ball. So local ball X and ball y so ball x will be the middle of the well it will basically be at the middle of the screen so that should be easy ball x will be equal to screen x divided by 2 and ball y will be s wait what? no it's screen w and ball y will be screen h divided by 2 so it starts in the middle. Um, I'm not declaring all variables today. Uh, what I'm going to do is mainly focus. Oh, snaps! Snaps, snaps, snaps! Uh, I put the those in the run function. So yes, but yeah, I won't declare everything here because today I'll be focusing on init and display. 
I'll be doing updates and in game later on. So ball x will be equal to screen w. Uh, divided by two, of course. What? The oh, divided by two. And ball y, like I said earlier, will be equal to screen h divided by two. Brilliant. Uh, this should be probably enough for now, for initialization. And display basically what we want to do is term dot clear to erase the screen. And we want to display uh, both records plus the ball. So we want to do uh, term dot set cursor pause position. Um, let's draw play one, which will be at the left. So it will be position two PL one Y like that. And Oh, actually, I have one other thing to do in initialization term dot set. Uh, that's annoying. <sighs> Let's do that here. Term dot set. No, that doesn't seem right. We'll do it here. Term dot set background color. We'll set the color to white. And once everything has been drawn we are I do we will be doing term dot set background color and we will set the color to black. There we have it. Now of course we do have to draw everything so we will do term dot set cursor pause that's done and we will write wait uh, that's a pain let's add a for loop so for i equal 1 going to um, I think it's racket len do let's put an end here there we go and basically what I'm going to do is that I'm going to draw uh, both rackets simultaneously. So each uh, individual part of rackets will be done individually. And we're going to write just a blank space. And we're going to do that again for the other racket. And of course we want to set the cursor position, the position to PL1 plus I and we're actually going to do from I from I equal zero to racket len minus one. That will be easier. Uh what next sets cursor position and we're going to draw player two. And the position will be screen W minus one. And the PL2Y plus I. And of course, we have to write a little something. There we have it. Now we want to draw the ball. So, to do so, we have to set the cursor position once again. Term dot set cursor pause to position ball X, ball Y. like that and we're going to write something actually I'm going to put two spaces that will be to make the, um, the ball a bit larger you'll see anyway and um, I'll take that into account when I will you when I'll be doing the update function now let's save this exit and let us call pong oh <laughs> This seem doesn't seem to have worked all that well. Um, something quite unfortunate seems to have happened. And I think I know what, but I'm not sure. 
but yeah, anyway, you can see there's um, this first panel, the second panel, and the ball. Let's do some debugging. And edit pong. What do we have here? Let's see, that means it's in the initialis initialization, there might be a problem. Um. Oh yes, of course. It's not plus, it's a minus I have to put here. And let's see the result, Pong. There you have it, it's somewhat in the middle, almost. But yeah, um, now that that is done, well... It's awesome, now we can just do the game controls, but um, you know what, I don't want to do that today, because I'm kind of lazy and I want to make short episodes. Hope you enjoyed, if you did, please take the time to like, comment, subscribe if you have any ideas. Let me know in the comment section, and since this is the end, I'll be saying goodbye, and see you next time.